Hi, in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at some of the additional tools that LinkedIn provides its users. Specifically, we're going to be looking at using the LinkedIn email signature tool. This is a question I've been asked quite a lot since I installed it on my own email signature. First of all, we need to log into our LinkedIn account and then scroll to the bottom of the home page. At the bottom of the page, we see a range of different options. We're looking for the tools option. Select that and you'll be taken through to the LinkedIn tools menu. There are a selection of different tools, many of which LinkedIn users aren't aware of, and we will cover the rest of them in detail in a later date. However, for today, we're looking for the email signature option. So we just want to go ahead and press try it now. You'll go through to the LinkedIn create email signature page. At the top of the page, you choose the template that you wish to use. If we choose the view gallery option, we see all of the different designs in a single column. I prefer the plastic curve cool option as it fits with our company branding. However, you might like one of the different ones. So choose one of those. Some of your details may already be entered in as they'll have been scraped from your profile. But if not, enter the details in the business information. Beneath that, we have the contact information. I want to choose the signature for my work email. And I want to make sure that my work number and my mobile number are available. Beneath that, we have the option to add instant messenger contacts and the option to add other website links as well. I've chosen to add tweet me, which links directly to my Twitter account. However, you may choose to add a link to your blog. So for instance, you might write personal blog. You can also add a tagline to your signature. However, this is something that I choose not to use. Then we return to the top of the right hand column. In the image selection tool, we can add our company logo. It's worth noting there are some restrictions. So make sure the file size is no bigger than 50 kilobytes. The file format is GIF, JPEG or PNG and also ensure the image dimensions are no larger than 100 pixels high and 60 pixels wide. The image needs to be hosted online, so paste in the image location from an online URL. Beneath that we have the address options and then we see the options to display additional links. I've selected the professional profile link which displays a link directly to my LinkedIn profile and the see who we know in common link which will take people through to a page showing our shared connections on LinkedIn. If my company was recruiting using the LinkedIn jobs function I could also add the link we're hiring so people could see what vacancies are currently available within my company. Once we've chosen those options we simply need to click here for instructions. In the text box at the top we see some HTML code. This is what we want to copy and paste into our respective email client. I use Mozilla Thunderbird. So I will choose Mozilla Thunderbird and I can follow the instructions below. Then I'll go to my email client. I'll go to my tools 
account settings and I'm looking for the signature text box. As I'm using HTML, I need to ensure that the use HTML tag is selected and then I can paste in my new signature. I then click save and I can preview it by clicking right. And there we go. I have a new email signature which won't display with these red lines when it actually sends. That's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.